time all their money. Still factory shrink wrapped. This is a Saturn V limited edition. And uh, this is the 30th anniversary limited edition. So it is still factory shrink wrapped. Again, donated by Bob Farr. I never built. <laughs> 50? Five. Fifty-five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> okay, it's good. We have the big spender here. What's the scale? Twenty-five. I got twenty-five in the back. Do I hear thirty? No. I got thirty. What's How about the, what's thirty-five? What's the scale, Steve? What's, oh? the, what's the scale? What's the scale? Box scale. Is that one hundred? One hundred. And it hits a whopping altitude of 100 feet on a D12 freight. And I would not fly this on a D12 freight. Okay, so now you threw me off here. What where was I? You were at 25 here? for somebody back there. 25 in the back. Do I hear 30? Do I hear 30? I got 25. This is a steal for $25. What? I got 30. It's a steal for $30. Do I hear 35? So here, 35. I got it for 30. 35. How about 40? I hear 40. Do I hear 45? I hear 45. I got 40. It's a steal for 40. I got 45. How about 50? Man is stealing it for 45. I got 50. He's still stealing it for 50. How about 55? Do I have uh, 55? I got 55. How about 60? I got 60. Do I have 65? I got 60. So here's 65. Okay, I got 60. I'm going to go once. I'm going to go twice. Sold $60. Good deal. Is Matt here at all? Yeah, I never. Matt Steele. He's prepping. I got kind of an unknown item here. Uh, this is a North Coast Rocketry Transol L1 electronic data logger and DSPL1 computer display unit. And this is copyright 1988 from North Coast Rocketry. Wow. As Ed would tell me, this has probably got uses cold. No, no batteries required. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and open this up. This is vintage electronics. And I'm gonna start at $10 for vintage electronics. It's going to be a new altimeter event. Vintage Ed should know. Is it contest certified? It works. Well, last time I flew it. Okay, $10? That was an 89. <laughs> Let's start at $5. I got $5. I got six in the back. Do I hear seven? Do I hear seven? I got seven dollars in the back. Uh oh, they were the swinging distance of each other. I got seven. Do I hear eight? Do I hear eight? I got seven. I'm gonna go once at seven. I'm gonna go twice at seven. Sold. Seven dollars. Okay, I've got a book here. This was donated by Mark Reynolds. It's called Moonshot, the Inside Story of America's Race to the Moon. And it is autographed by Alan Shepard. And I can't read the other signatures. Uh, can't read them. It's other astronauts. So, anyway, I'm going to start the bidding here at $15. I got 30. I got 50. Do I hear 55? It doesn't look like it's Slayton, but it doesn't look like Deke. It looks like Bobby Slayton. <laughs> Okay. This, my, the book. Book was actually, actually yeah, this is from the John Joseph collection. He was a Tucson rocketeer who died last year, unfortunately. 
speed. So, so he collected a lot of this stuff. Yes. Yeah. Mark, 70? The other I believe it's the, all, all the authors of the book, so one of them should be either Deek or... So who are the authors? Or authors of this book yeah, are a, a Howard Benedict, a J. Barbary, oh, Deke Slayton is listed here, and Alan Shepard. So there you got one. The Moonwalker. So it might be Slayton's wife. Okay. So, do I have 30? 70. Okay, 70. Do I have 75? 75. Got 75 in the back. Do I have 80? 85. Got 85. Do I have 90? Got 85. Do I have 90? 90. I got 90 in the back. Even 100? I got an even 100. I'm out. Do I hear 105? I got an even 100. Do I hear 105? I'm going to go for $100. One, two, three, sold. Right. Let's go ahead and do a couple more movies here. I have, that looks like some kind of a special edition from the Earth to the Moon. I've got a PBS home video, Race to the Moon, and another copy of Apollo 13. So I'll start this off $5. I got ten dollars. I hear eleven. Do I hear eleven? I got eleven dollars. Do I hear twelve? I got eleven. Do I hear twelve? I got twelve. Do I hear thirteen? I got thirteen. Do I hear fourteen? I got thirteen. Do I hear fourteen? I got thirteen. Let's go once. Four, fifteen. Fifteen. I got fifteen. Do I go sixteen? Twenty. Okay. Do I go twenty-one? I got twenty. I'm gonna go once, twice, sold. John Thank you. Thank you, John. Good, uh, good, good entertainment there. Let's go ahead. Another mystery box. And let's open this up at 35. Oh, you tease. <laughs> I got 35 from several people here. Let's go 40. 45, right here 50, I got multiples for 50, how about 60, I got multiples for 60, how about 65, I got multiples for 65, how about 70, 75. I got 75, do I hear 80, I got 75, do I hear 80, listen to the value, <laughs> I got 80 in the back, I got 75, do I hear 80, I got 75, 75 going once, 75 going twice. 76. 70, I'll take it. 76, do I hear 77? 80. I got 80. Okay, do I hear 81? I got 80. I'm gonna go, what, pressure's on. I'm gonna go once, twice, sold, $80. Okay, does anyone here speak German? Okay, <laughs> tell me what it says. Tell me about it. Can I read it in German or German? <laughs> read it in English. Interpret it in English. <laughs> it's a German rocket. Of course, a lot of them are German rockets. It's a Saturn V. I know nothing else about the kit. I think the general gist is don't be an idiot and crash it in the piece. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but they so, all say that. <laughs> it's a Saturn V. For those of you doing the conversion, uh, I'm guessing it's a 710 millimeters. That's probably the length. Uh, it looks like the motor is a D7-3, which is probably some German motor. So anyway, it's an unknown. I'll start it off relatively inexpensive. Let's start at twenty dollars. Okay, how about fifteen? Someone want to be with, uh, for fifteen? I got fifteen. Okay, do I hear sixteen? I got sixteen. Do I hear seventeen? I got sixteen. I'm gonna go once at sixteen. I got seventeen. I'm gonna go eighteen. I got eighteen. I go nineteen. I got twenty. Go twenty-one. I got twenty. I'm gonna go twenty once. 20 twice, sold John Biscaglia.
Is that in Deutschmark? Twenty. Euros on it. Yeah. Okay. So Okay. I have here a Apogee Saturn V. Okay. I'm sure if it is missing any parts, it's been opened obviously. I'm sure if it is missing anything, I'm sure Tim can help you out on it. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's got some patina on the body tube right there. <laughs> Beats me. Around. So let's, let's start the bidding at 50. At 50 everybody give me $50. I got $50 for the kid. How about 55? 55, and why would give me 55? Saturn V, large, detailed Saturn V. I got 55. 60? I said 75. 75. Ooh. Do I hear 80? <laughs> I got 80. Do I hear 85? $100. $100. $150. 150. Boy, that was serious. Okay, I got 150. Anybody 155? No, I got 150. 150 is going to go once, 150 is going to go twice. Sold. Deal. Someone's got some building to do. Okay, I don't know that I have oh to explain God. this to many people. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, the good news is this is low fat, high fiber. <laughs> Uh, is it gluten free? It is gluten free, probably. <laughs> yeah, but it was processed in a factory that has wheat. Does that have any peanuts? So, no, there's no peanuts in there. He has steel. All the dust is no charge. It's a million little ones on the bottom. Anyway, you probably have enough of those codes here. This is courtesy of Balsa Machining Service, in case you hadn't guessed. Uh, a lot of the different stuff that, for whatever reason, Bill decided not to sell. So you probably have enough nose cones in here that you'll probably need about two thousand dollars worth of tubing to build the rockets. <laughs> <laughs> so how many people want to start this at fifty dollars? I got fifty. I got sixty. Seventy. So right here's seventy. I got sixty up front here. You got half of a rainforest here. <laughs> Sixty-five. Do I hear seventy? Seventy. I got 70. Do I hear 75? Do I hear 75? I got 70. 75? I got 75. <laughs> I got 80. I got 80? 85. I got 80. He was first on 80. I got, do I want 85? It's only like $5 more. Oh, 85. Okay, do I hear 90? Do I hear 90? I got 85. Yeah, I got enough nose. You got enough nose cones for you. Never come out of your house. I got 90. Do I hear 95? He dropped his card. Do I hear 95? I got 90 up front here. Do I hear 95? Because I'm going to go once. I see a mercury capsule right there. Look at that. Okay. Are you doing the look at a bird thing to me? 95. 90. I got 90. I got 90 once, twice, sold. Nice. I know. As long as I'm uh, on a wood binge here, <laughs> this is from Art Rose's collection. So, I don't know, you look, uh, not Chip's gone. Okay, I've got a bunch of balsa wood here, basswood, different thicknesses. I never took this whole box apart. Start your own hobby shop. If nothing else, start the fireplace. <laughs> so, this is from Art Rose, so I'm sure doing art, he probably did nothing but the best wood. You want to say something, Jeff Jeffrey? Yes, I was privileged to work with him in the shop and 
all that balsa wood was hand picked by art for gliders and such. So you got really exceptional grade balsa there and it was stored properly. So I'm going to start it at 15. That's a heck of a bargain for balsa wood. Who said 30? 30. I got 30. I hear 40. 40. I got 40. Do I hear 50? 60. I got 60. I got 75. Do I hear 80? I got 80. I got 85. Do I hear 90? I got 85. Do I hear 90? That's got to be $500. I got 90. 100? I got 100. So I hear 105. Seed grain's hard to come by. 105? I got 105 in the back. 110? I got 110 up front. Do I hear 115? I got 115 in the back. Do I hear 120? I got 115 in the back. Got 115 going once. Huh? 120? I got 120 up front here. Do I hear 125? I got 125 in the back. Okay. I got 120. I got 125 in the back. Nice. 130 up front here. Do I have 135? I got 130. I got 130. I'm gonna go once with 130. Twice. I got 135. I got 135 in the back. I got 140 up front. I'm gonna go 140. I'm gonna go it once. I'm gonna go 140 twice. Sold 140. Nice. Damn. It's like five, six hundred dollars in the balsa. Don't fly it all. And now, now we need to come up. All right. Let's get some, let's get people things up. Wow. Chance for something a little bit less expensive here. DMC, <laughs> yes. Yes. We have a 130 second scale Apollo monogram. So I'll start this one off in expense. Tom Campbell? No. Not that I saw. Signed by a guy named Monogram. I'll start this one off any spice. I'll start at ten dollars. Give me ten dollars for the kit. Come on. I got ten dollars from Monell. Do I hear fifteen? How about eleven? Do I hear eleven? I got eleven in the back. How about twelve? I got twelve. Do I hear thirteen? I got thirteen in the back. Do I hear fourteen? Fifteen. I got fifteen. Do I hear twelve? So I hear 16, I got 15. I got 15 going once, I got 15 going twice, sold $15. Hey, uh, <laughs> I don't need a rear view mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a rear view mirror. Okay, scale data, you all need scale data. Small sounding rockets by Richard Morrow and Mitch Pines. And if you haven't looked at this book, you got all kinds of drawings. You can you know, build your full size model. I got 50 to start with. Do I hear 55? I hear 55, I got 50. 55, how about 51? I got 50, I'm gonna go once. 55. I got 55, I got 60. Okay, do I hear 65? I got 65. I got 75, okay? I'm gonna hear 80, I'm gonna hear 80 for this book. I got 75, I'm gonna go once. 80. I got 80. 90? I got 90 up front here. Am I going to hear 95 for this book? You're going to have to move the pot off the dash. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got it. And you just love it. 90, you said. 90. <laughs> See, she got you right back. <laughs> yep. I got 90 for the book. I'm going to do it once. 95. 100. Got 100 for the book. Okay, I got 100 going once, 100 going twice, sold for 100. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure who the manufacturer is on this. It looks like it all has way. been open. Uh, here, actually, been, uh, designed by, but I don't know who the manufacturer was. BMS. BMS. Okay, this was BMS. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a Saturn V. So, and this is the Apollo 15, 16, and 17 version. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this one up. It looks like the kit may have been open. I'm going to open this one up at $5. Got five, I got two people, I'm going to go to 10. 
You got 10. Do I hear 15? You got 15. Do I hear 20? I gave you 20. I got 20. 22. I got 20. Okay, We're 22. All, still out of our hands up. all right. Keep, keep going until 20, we down. 25. Let her auction. 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You always need a break. 35. I got 35 from Jim. About 36. I got 35. I'm going to go 35 once, 35 twice, sold. the major parts and you got all those like motor tubes and centering rings and other joyous things <coughs> you even have instructions how to build it in English no that but this is probably built in USA this kid so I'll open this one up to 20 I right, this jar for 20 I got 40 up front here do I hear 45 for this kit I got 40. Do I hear 45? 50. I got 50. Do I hear 55? I got 50. I got 51. I got 50 in the back. Do I hear 51 from anybody? 50 going once, 50 going twice, sold. Okay, I've got another Neubauer kit. I have one that is open, appears to be complete, and I have one that is still sealed. So you have on here the balsa nose cone. What kit is it? You have the wedge shaped fins. What are we building? Little Joe One. Ah. Neubauer. And the body tube. That's what you have. Well, again, one is open, one is not. I'm going to sell them for the same price. So I'm going to start this off at uh, 50. Starting with 50. Any, any, take one. Take one. Are you putting your hand up in the back? No. Uh, <laughs> darn. Okay. Uh, I'll bring the price down to 45 to get another buyer. I'll bring the price down to 40 to get two buyers. What is it? I got I got a buyer here race. I got three buyers right now. I was still up. You're still up, so those are the only two buyers. Okay, I got two buyers, 40. So Who are the buyers? The Canadians. <laughs> fight, fight. <laughs> All right. We got Apollo Centuri Saturn 1B. The kit is complete. There's several parts off the sprue, and the interstate shroud hat is cracked. It looks like it's all repairable, but it, it is all here. So, again, Centuri, Saturday 1B, it includes various wraps, interstate structure, got plastic uh, vacuform fins. So I will start the bidding on here at $30. Centuri, sorry, I got 30 in the back. Okay, do I hear 35? I got 35, do I hear 40? Do I hear 40, I got, I got, I got 40 in the back. Okay, do I hear 45? I got 45, I got 50. Do I hear 55? Do I hear 55? I got 50 right now. Do I hear 55? I got 50. It's going to go once. It's going to go twice. Sold. Just want to hand it to him. Remember, you've got a couple of things over here. 
Yep. <coughs> okay. I've got two orbital transports. Okay. I'll start the bidding on these at ten dollars. How many do I have? I got more than that. Okay. Fifteen dollars. If you want it, I got fifteen dollars. I got three hands up. It's the okay. I got three hands up for fifteen. Keep your hands up so I know who wants it. Okay, I'm gonna go to seventeen. Okay, I got one hand up. How about sixteen? Okay, all right. Um, seventeen. Okay, who who wants it for seventeen? I got two hands up. It's sold for seventeen. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hey, I have a Roachworks mini scepter with display booster and stand. It's a futuristic model. It's eight, it's mini engine powered. So look at it there. I'll start this one at 20. This is a uh, Roachworks model. I understand they were high quality models. About $20. 18. 20? 20. 20. I'm going to go once. I'm going to go twice. Sold for 20. Okay. For those who are collecting early kits, Narham's Gold. Serial number nine, donated by Fliss Kits. So I'll start the bidding on this at 15. Sell for 30. 15. Do I have 20? Serial number nine here. Do I have 20? About six, uh, about 20? I got 20. Do I hear 21? I got 21. Do I hear 22? Do I hear 22? I got 21. I'm going to let 21 go once. A 21 go twice, sold. That was the uh, Narham's Gold. Narham's Gold. Okay, a little bit of science fiction here in Centauri. We have the Draconian Marauder from Centauri. Buck Rogers. So I'll open this one up at 15. I got 15, how about 20? I got 20, how about 25? I got 20 to Roy, how about 25? I got 25, do I hear 30? Do I hear 30? I got 25, 27. I got 25 right now, do I hear 27? I'm gonna go 25, it's gonna go once. So you go twice, it's sold. Mix it up a little bit with the uh, well, Easter yeah. model. How much was it? Yeah, let's go there. Go right. He's going there. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. We're going to ludicrous speed. So, what I want to say about this is that when, when I knew that we were going to be having Naram here, I talked to uh, the Easter who owns it. So, so Lee has a couple of hobby shops in Phoenix. Uh, they're called Hobby Benches. And he populates the ceiling over the rocketry section with models that are not kits. They're takeoffs or riffs on kits. They're all, I can't say how beautifully made they are. I think this is sort of something he does to blow off steam because he is a, uh, he is a consummate uh, small businessman. So I went to him back in the uh, fall of last year and I told him that I would really love for him to do a one-off, there's nothing else like it, it's not a kit, donation to this scenario. 
and it came together late. If you want to come up and inspect it, I can't blame you. It has its own, you know, artist's um, like, imperfections. It's mm -hmm. it's like an artist's proof. If he was going to do mm -hmm. more of them, he probably would have one that was flawless. But that's not what paintings are like. And so you can see where he's made measurements on it. There are little alignment marks for painting and so forth. But it is one of a kind, and we built it. Got a signed, dated certificate of authenticity. And he included his own notes about the commander. Again, signed. Motor recommendations. Why motor recommendations? Shoots in it, shock cords in it, motor retention, it's good to fly. You'd be crazy too. You gotta fly. <laughs> you gotta fly at least and, once. Rock and, and, fly. and now this is this is a photocopy. It is signed and dated though of his workbench sketches of the model. So Steve. Okay. Ringer of money. <laughs> Pick it up. Show it. To extract. Oh, yeah. Show it. Hold it up. Okay. Well, do you want to do the Vanna impersonation and hold the model? Mm -hmm. Hold it up high. You definitely don't impersonate Vanna, but. There you go. Okay. So let's start the bidding. This is a one of a kind model. I'm going to start the bidding at 75. Do I have any? How about 75? I got an offer of 75 in the back. Okay. Do I hear 80? Do I have 80 for this? I got an offer of 75. Do I hear 80? Come on, this is a one of a kind model. Um, you know, if you look is at anyone the, here not knowing who Lee Peaster is? I mean, Bert is celebrated, and I think he'd agree. Lee is equally to be celebrated. He's he at Century Engineering was his company. So in the golden age of rocketry, the two of them. Well, you can tell stories for, for days. Can I say about something? It. Yes, absolutely. Thanks to Lee Peaster, we were very successful because he provided such good stuff. It challenged us to keep up. And his first catalog was fabulous. But we had to really work hard. And we had this good, friendly competition. We remained friends through all of it. But he helped build our business, too. And he deserves some recognition. So I've got 75 for it. Um, just looking at it. Uh, 100. I've got 100 for it. Okay, it's got 12 fins. That's less than $10 of fin. We <laughs> <laughs> need a lot more than for, the, for the other rockets here than $10 of fin. What's it fly on, Gene? Uh, well, what, what does it fly on? Hopes and dreams. It's 29 millimeters. His, his motor recommendations are F26-6 uh, Fast Jack, an F56 Blue Thunder G40, G80. It utilizes it, even though it's... We got 150. Oh, 150. Yeah. It does utilize the Estes motor retention system for the back, in the back. Set up for a quarter inch rod. And like I said, it, the, the recovery system and everything is packed inside of it. So, <laughs> so you got 150, do I hear 155? You can see it. But don't forget it's like, the, the connected nose and the uh, it, body. <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough, the shock cord anchor, which is the paper wrap style, it says Estes. <laughs> 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 That'll raise the price yeah. by hundred bucks, yeah. right? <laughs> one fifty. I'm looking for one fifty-five. Anybody one fifty-five? I'm looking for one fifty. One fifty-five, I should say. I got one fifty. So I'm going to go one fifty. I'm going to go once. I'm going to go twice. Sold for hundred. <laughs> If you want to leave it up here where it's safe and everybody can admire what they passed on. <laughs> Let's do some uh, vintage uh, machines here. Try this kind of quickly. So 
So I'm going to start off here with a Maxi Alpha. And that Maxi Alpha, um, this has got balsa fins on it. Uh, nearly three feet tall. So let me start this one off at 15. 15. You got plenty of people for 15. How about 20? 20. I got 25. How about 25? I got 25. How about 30? I got 25. How about 30? I'm going to go 25, I said I'm this fast. 25 once, 25 twice, sold 25. Yeah, I got another bean machine. Again, as Ed said, this is your BT60 collection. And still plastic nose cone. I'll start this one off at 15. $15 for a bean machine. You got more than that in tubing. I got fifteen dollars from Mr. Beach. Do I hear twenty? Do I hear twenty? I got fifteen. How about sixteen? Okay, I'm gonna go fifteen. I'm gonna go once, twice, sold. <laughs> okay, I have an oldie but goodie here. Another one from Earl's Hobbies. A sandpiper. Cool model. So I kinda like this. The tube is somewhat uh, out of round. Should go back into round and it is just BT50. So let's go ahead. Yeah, it's an older kit. Let's start $5. I got $5. Okay, $6. I got six. I'm going to go six. And I'm going to go once. I got seven. Okay, am I going to go eight? I got eight. I got 10. Am I going to go 11? I got 10. I got 10. It's going to go once. Ten gonna go twice, sold ten dollars. Let's do another couple of kits. Cause I'm on a roll here. <laughs> Let's do a V2. Okay, uh, this is the D engine size V2. And let's start this one off at uh, 10. I have 10 for this kit. I got 10. Do I hear 12? Do I hear 12? I got 10. I got 12. I, I have 10. Do I hear 12? Okay, I got 12. Do I hear 13? 13? I got 13. Do I hear 14? I got 13. Do I hear 14? I'm going to go third. I got 14. Do I hear 15? Make it nice, easy there. I got 15. You go 16? I yes. got I got 16. 17? I got 16. It's going to go once for 16. It's going to go twice for 16. It's sold for 16. Thank you. Another one. Pre Peacekeeper when it was still called the MX. Uh -huh. So, and I think this has got a nozzle for display, and then there's a clear fin unit in this rocket. It's the bayonet style clear fins. So, I'm going to start this one. Let's start it easy. $5. Five for, I got five from a couple people. <laughs> I'm going to go six. I got seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I got ten. Anybody else? How about eleven? I got, I got eleven. I hear twelve. I got twelve. Do I hear thirteen? I got thirteen. Do I hear fourteen? I got fourteen. Do I hear fifteen? I got fifteen. Do I hear sixteen? I got sixteen. Do I hear seventeen? I got 16. Anybody else? Let's go. Right here's 17. I'm going to go 16 once, 16 twice. Sold. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do a couple more kits. Okay, recent vintage kit, Photon Pro. I'll start this one low, I'll start at five dollars. I got five dollars. Do I hear six? Do I hear six? I got five. I got six. Do I hear seven? I got seven. Do I hear eight? I got seven. Do I hear eight? I got eight. Do I hear nine? Ten. I got ten. Do I hear eleven? I got ten. Do I hear eleven? I got ten. It's going to go once. It's going to go twice. Sold, $10. One that you haven't seen for a while. 
LTV Scout. And it is still sealed. It's been around for it's been around. This has got patina on the bag. So let's go ahead and since it hasn't started, this has got the weird nose cone. Let's go ahead and start this for ten dollars. We get ten for this. I got ten. Do I hear eleven? I got ten. Do I hear eleven? I got eleven in the back. Do I hear twelve? Twenty. I got twenty. Do I hear twenty-one? I got twenty. Twenty-five. Do I hear twenty-six? Thirty. I got thirty. Do I hear thirty-one? I got thirty. Do I hear thirty-one? I got thirty. Thirty-one. Okay. Do I have thirty-two? I got thirty-one. Do I hear thirty-two? I got thirty-one. I'm gonna go once at thirty-one. I'm gonna go twice at thirty-one. Soul thirty-one. This is from the Art Roast Collection. I have in here a collection of Centauri rocket motors. Oh. <laughs> and for those whose eyesight is like mine, which is not to say good, uh, we've got here A44M, A46M, quarter A42, I got A80s, A85s, B42s. Are the boxes empty? Yeah, they have motors in them. I can tell you there's one super C missing. Is it? I opened that box. Hey, Steve? Steve? Yes. Those were stored in the workshop, which was constantly kept at around a 70 to 70 degrees. If that may help.